we have a thing. So you remember when I reviewed the Art X acrylic markers a while back, and then I used them on a couple different things? They got back in touch with me. They have new sets that they have put out, and they said, would you like us to send you two of the sets? And I said, well, here's what I would really like. And I mentioned that I would do this for you in the future. I said, I wouldn't mind getting them, but could you maybe send an extra set so I can send them out to the people that watch the videos and do a small promotion and do a little giveaway. And they said, well, we'll do you one better than that. Not only will we send you one set, we'll send you one of each of the sets, the same ones we're gonna send you. So I have two things to give away. I'm gonna pick two names. They have a couple of rules though. This isn't like, this. Is, they're gonna ship it to you. Now that's good because what it does is it opens up some other countries. All right, so let me read this to you. So you got the US, Canada, the UK, any European countries, Japan, Australia, and any main Southeast Asian countries. It's open to all of those places. So I know a lot of you said, oh, it's a shame that you only do in the US the giveaway best if I have to ship it. But they're going to ship it. So they're going to ship it to you. So there's a 36 uh, SimTap set. That's what they're called, SimTap markers. I'm going to show them here in a second. Or, and 148 set. So the, the first person I pick will get the 48. The second person will get the 36. It's the same. Those 36 are in with the 48. So they're, they're the same colors. There's just in the 48, there's a few more. They have a couple of rules though. Okay, here are the rules. Don't blame me if I pick your name and you say you want it. So you're going to have to go down below and tell me you want it so I can put your name in the hat. But here's what you have to do as soon as you say that. So here's what you have to do. You have to follow Art X's account on YouTube. And the link for them will be down below. So just click on the link and follow them. You also have to follow. It's the same. Oh, no, it's not. It's a little different. Okay. You have to follow them on Instagram or TikTok, it looks like. There's a slash there. So I'm assuming Instagram or TikTok, not both. I don't know. But that's what it looks like to me. It looks like Instagram or TikTok because it's a separate thing other than YouTube. So that's what it looks like to me. And that link will also be down below. And that's it. Just be in the countries. The US, Canada, UK, European countries, Japan, Australia, and main Southeast Asian companies. Companies. Do you live in a company? I don't. I live in a country. So that's where it goes. So that's what we're going to do. And the sets that I'm going to show you today are going to be... So this is the, the 36. And here's the 48 actually really nice boxes but we're gonna get into all pluses and minuses I'm gonna swatch out the 48 color set but I have to show you something that annoyed me a little bit before I get to that I know I'm giving you something away that I am gonna have some flaws with just it's gonna happen because it's just that some things annoy me anyway so they have this little elastic thing that holds it closed you flip open the top wonderful they're already labeled. That's in the that's in the list. Don't get ahead of me. So you remember these are the old ones that I that I got, and I had to put where did I have to I had to put my own stickers on the bottom and tell you what the colors are, and I got them all wrong. This one already has it on the cap. Wonderful. The thing is, it's not anywhere on here. So if you take this out and you put this down, and you take this cap and you put it somewhere else, and you don't know what color that is, which cap it goes to. That's your problem, not mine. You gotta make sure that you keep that cap, only take one out at a time, take the cap off, use it, put it back. You can mark them if you want to, I'm sure, but they're not marked anywhere else that I see. Maybe they are. No, I don't. Now, oh, um, I gotta go into this. I'm, so I'm just showing you what it looks like. Hold on here a second. Let me just block my face for a second. See if it'll focus on that for just a second. So you see that little window right there? That's cool. You can see the paint that's in there. That I like that, and you, it's full. There's a little gap at the very top that there's none. It's a full pan of paint. First thing that's going to annoy me, it already happened. So on these pens, there's a little cap on the bottom because there's, there's a plunger here that you're supposed to push. These little caps, they're in the thing, and when you pull them up, they pop off. And they pop off inside the case. So you can't put it back in because now there's this thing on the bottom and you're not going to get it directly in so you just keep hitting it constantly 
The first thing I did on that 48 set is I took all those caps off and I threw them in the garbage. I don't think you're supposed to do that. They probably don't want you to do that, but I'm telling you that's what I did with these. So these caps right here go in the garbage. They're trash. They do cover the little push thing, but I promise, as far as I'm concerned, you're not accidentally going to push this in. This thing, that's another thing, but well, I have to show you. I have a little piece of cardboard here so that I don't spill this everywhere. But this thing is stiff. You, when you push this thing, you, you'll hear it. Well, let me see if I can get it close up to the microphone. You can hear it. Okay, I don't know if you heard that crack, but it like cracks a little bit. And it is stiff. It's hard to push a little bit. But then, as soon as you pump it a couple times, you see that ink start to come out, that paint come out. And it's, it's wonderful. It's fine. Now, here's what I want to say about that. I like the tips on the other one better. There's no pump, and you don't have to shake them. There's nothing in there. And also, you don't push on the front. So they're just, the foam is in there, there's paint in there. There's probably a lot less paint in these than in the new ones. In the new ones, there's a lot of paint and they feel substantial. They're thick, they're solid, and you hear that little, you have to shake that thing like crazy. And you know, just cause you're, it's paint, you gotta mix it up. So, and then it works wonderfully. Once you get it started, it works good and I've let it sit for a while now and go back in and go to grab one and use it and most of the time it's right there if it's not if it dries a little bit you just pump it one time and the, and just shake it and the thing comes right back and you can use it again not a big deal I'm ruining the whole video because I have a list of positives and negatives that I'm going to tell you while I'm doing the painting which took me a couple of times as well. We'll get into this whole thing. So anyway, this was a this was a very difficult video for me to make because I kept going to do something and it wasn't the way that I wanted and I changed it up and started to do something else and that wasn't what I wanted and I just started to do something else. But I eventually got something and it's in a sketchbook because they're the soft foam. That's what I love about all their pens, their brush pens, all of them. They're soft foam, so you can put them in a sketchbook. It doesn't scratch the paper. It's not like those hard foam tips that scar up the paper. It's, it's pretty soft, so it works very well. So remember the rules. They're going to be down below, too. you got to follow their things and make sure you tell me, hey, I want to be considered, and I've followed their things. And then I'll go ahead and put your name in the hat, and I'll pick two winners. One gets a 48, one gets a 36. Before we get into the swatching, I have to say this too. So I'm going to do the week. Some people, they don't see it in time and then they miss out on the giveaway. If I do a giveaway on a Monday video, I'm going to pick the winner for a Saturday video or something like that. So I'm going to pick it on Friday. So you got to make sure between Monday and Friday is when you go and click on their links and follow them and tell me that you want to participate and then your name goes in the hat, but it's only Monday through Friday. After that, Saturday is when I'll do the reveal video and say, okay, these are the people that I'm picking. I'll send, I'll, I'll say for you to do something to get in touch with me so that I know that it's really you. And then I'm going to send your information to them and they will ship out the product. And they come pretty quick when they get the information. When I said yes to these, I had them within a few days. They were at my door and they were shipped overseas, I think. I don't know. It could have been somewhere in the country. I have no idea. But anyway, they're pretty quick shippers. So good luck to everybody. And now we'll get into the swatching. Okay, so I already showed you how difficult it was to kind of crack that at the very end. You got to push it pretty hard. You might need to use two hands. It just depends. Hold it with one and then push in that thing with the other. Once you break that first initial seal, it, it, it pumps just fine after that. It's just like almost like there's a seal there that has to be cracked. And sometimes what I did was I would hold the pump down and let it flow through instead of just pumping it multiple times. Just let it flow through once. You do waste a little bit of extra paint. It drops out a little bit, but it's not terrible. It's, it's just it just be a drop or two and that'll be it. Now, here's something I do want to say. I swatched this out on the Canson XL Mixed Media Paper and it seemed to cover very well. It was very smooth and even. It was almost like an alcohol marker as far as how smooth and even it was. That didn't necessarily happen for all of the colors in my book. 
So some of them were, some of them were, some of them stayed completely smooth in the, on the 100% cotton watercolor paper book, but some of them didn't. Some of them were a little bit more difficult to get a smooth, uh, just a smooth patch of color on. That's okay. It's not a big deal because normally I wouldn't be using these on paper anyway. I do like that I can, like I said before, the, the tips are smooth. We're going to go into that whole thing there, but I just want to talk about the color palette here. So not too many yellows. I was very happy to see that. There's like a couple of different yellows, like a, a cooler yellow and then a couple warmer yellows. Wonderful. There's a lot of skin tones in this set, which is fine. A lot of people like that. Um, I consider them more earth tones. I don't consider them skin tones. That's what a lot of people call them. They say skin tones. I say they're earthy tones. So anything from a very, very light beige all the way into the the browner colors so you can do a lot with this color palette there's it's not like a, a completely muted set like I would normally pick but it is a set that works very well if you're doing landscapes or if you're doing florals or anything like that you're really gonna have even some wildlife stuff you're not gonna have too many problems coming up with some colors that you can mix together or, or kind of put them together. So the, the only two colors that I will probably never use, but I never do, I just never like them, and that's the silver and the gold. I know they put it in there because they sparkle and shine a little bit. A lot of people like to put that little, uh, that little accent of glittery into their, their paintings and things. It's just not for me. If you go through the sets, I tend to look at the darker colors and the more muted tones. So that's, they, they have some of those in there. It's just not, I would pick several of them and just use them for the most part. But there's a lot of variation in the blues, in the greens. There's not too much with the red. You have one red color, it's that J233. And that color in particular is more of an orangey red. It's not like a red red. It's not bad. If you just had it by itself, you wouldn't notice that. You'd look at it and say, oh, that's a red. But if you put it next to any other cooler reds, you'd immediately you'd say that's not a normal red. It's more of an orangey red. Other than that, so the reds, I think, are not very well represented in this set. But you have some yellows you have a couple yellows that are okay you have orange you have the the um the earth tones you have blues and greens and purples and pinks and those are all represented well in there it's just the red is a little bit lacking i wish they would have added a couple more red. but other than that everything else is wonderful I did have to go over that white again just because I think the ink was still, it's not the fault of the pen, it's my fault. I did the ink in there and then I left it, it was a little wet and when I went over it, it kind of, it kind of just moved a little bit and got into the paint so it made it look like it didn't cover as much but it was really just the black smudging into the white. So I went over it a second time. Again, it's not a hundred percent completely opaque where it's going to cover it back to the white of the page. It's not going to do that, but it's it's something. It's 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 a good white. You can use it to cover something else. Then I go back through. You know what you're just going to see me do now is I'm going to um, star all of the colors that come in both sets. So in the 48 set you have all of the colors, and then in the 36 set you have a subset of those 48 colors. Most of them are represented very well. I'm very happy with what they put in the 36 set. You'll have the majority of the colors that you would need if you get that set. So don't worry about that. Everything sounds good. Let's get into the painting. Okay, so before I start, this is the first painting that I did that didn't really work out. It was based on like neurons in the brain. The problem was that the video did not record it's it shut down on me and while i was recording and the file was deleted so that whole drawing that i did i didn't have any footage of so i just said okay no problem let me try something else it wasn't exactly working exactly how i wanted it to anyway i was trying to do something else with it that was just the end result so then I started to use something else. It didn't really cover very well. So I went into this next drawing and this is the one that stuck. Okay, so this is the uh, toned gray from Hanamula. Uh, it's a smaller book. I did a double page spread on it and everything seemed to work just how I wanted it to work. It, it does 
you know, it looks very streaky in the beginning, but and when it dries, it dries pretty flat. So that was not an issue. Um, this is not 100% cotton paper, but it's still, everything went, okay, this is, when I was talking about doing the 100% cotton paper, that was the other one. That was that first one that I did, and it did very well on there. There was just a couple of issues that I had with it where it wasn't exactly... Uh, as smooth as I wanted to but you'll see here it looks streaky sometimes it's only because it's wet there's some it's drying at different times because I put a little bit too much paint down in certain spots and not in other spots and but some colors did have a little bit of streakiness to them so they weren't all a hundred percent smooth but they never are I've never seen that with paint pens where they're a hundred percent alcohol markers are different they tend to smooth out a little bit paint pens are a little different but what I want to mention is these kind, this kind of using this on paper is wonderful. I love that I can use these paint pens on paper and not scratch the crap out of the paper. And one of the other things is when you do that, um, these lend very well to like pop art. If you've ever looked at pop art, they're not really blended colors, so they don't they don't do gradient blends. It's just solid colors in certain sections, almost like a paint by numbers, where your highlights are outlined, defined, you know, they're defined outlines. You're putting the color in the exact spot. That kind of painting, that's what it's good for. And I enjoy painting like that sometimes. It's actually very relaxing. It's very cathartic to go through something and just paint solid shapes and not try and sit there blending everything so much. You just kind of, you put the color exactly where you're going to put it and that's where it's going to be and you'll even see when i get close to things i'll even go over some of the color next to it and nothing really seems to be a problem every it goes right over it it covers very well in that instance uh, i did have a little bit of trouble i was using a very very dark paper and uh, some of the some actually it was actually some of the darker colors that were uh, not darker colors, some of the lighter, brighter colors that were uh, having a little bit of hard time covering, but you have to keep in mind what they're used for. You know, it's an acrylic paint marker, so it's not like you're taking a brush and putting it over acrylic, you know, acrylic paint over on things. It's not like that. With the brush markers, there's still a little bit of a felt marker that's rubbing on it, so it, it thins it a little bit more. You'd have to wait for it to dry and do a second layer for it to be thicker. So just keep that in mind when you use paint pens, you want them to, you wanna put, if you have something that you have to cover and it's a darker color behind it, you wanna go over it and let it dry and then go over it again. And I did that a couple times on the other paper. It did not have a problem. It didn't stick. I think someone was talking about the Thule paint markers and they were bringing that up and they said, oh yeah, I got those too, but when you try and go over them, they kind of feel gummy and they feel that, you know, they, they kind of pull up the underneath with what you're putting over them. I did not notice that with these at all. And I actually did that as a test on purpose because that person brought up the other paint pens. And I was like, well, I want to make sure these don't do that if I'm going to recommend them. So these do not do that as far as when I did that, I went over them and they didn't stick. They weren't gummy. It was just like regular paint just like regular acrylic paint and that's how they worked so so let me hit these points pretty quickly because i've already said them before and i'm gonna say them again so for this video it's uh illustrations by repeat and so the 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 cons let's start with the cons first so i told you about those tiny caps that was a a pain in the neck for me I'd pull them up and then they'd fall in the box and sometimes they'd fall sideways and I couldn't get, that was, I just had to pull all the markers out and get to the bottom of the box and pull all the caps out. That's something I did not enjoy. Um, I, I'm not really sure, I, I'm going to guess that you actually have to store these tip up, but I'm not going to say that for sure. I know sometimes every other marker that I have, I store flat. But in this instance, maybe they're designed to be stored with the tip up. And so that's how I'm going to store them. I'll see in the long run where that leads. But so far, everything's fine. Nothing's had no problem with it. But we'll just see that. Um, I mentioned that the pump is kind of stiff. It, it can kind of have to like crack at first. And sometimes it doesn't really feel like it's moving much. 
it is. It's just you have to crack that first uh, little bit. The other thing is sometimes you pump too much, you hold the pump down, or like me, it drips off. I showed you that when we was doing the, uh, in the very beginning, in the very intro, uh, that yeah, sometimes when you hold that pump, it drips a little bit. So if you're gonna do that, if you're taking out a new marker or it's not coming out and you gotta pump it for a second, put it over something else, put it over a paper towel or put it over a scrap piece of paper or something and pump. Don't pump it over your work. You're going to drip it on there. You're going to get all pissed off and then blame the markers. It's not the markers' fault. They do that. That's what they do. So make sure that you take precautions for that. Now, the colors on the box do not match. They get the color family correct, but they don't actually match. And that's the way it is for every paint company I've ever seen in my life. The colors on the boxes or on the swatch cards or whatever it is, do not match the actual paint that hits the page. That's just how it is. It's not the company's fault. It's, it's just how it's done. And the reason that I say it's not the company's fault is you have to understand um, there's, a, there's something called CRI with lights. So when you create a box and you have that box being displayed somewhere, you set it up for a certain CRI level with the light that you're using. A lot of marketers go through a tremendous amount of time with that and they have like, yeah, you got to use like a 90 CRI um, for that light. And so it, it represents the true color that you're looking at. And then the different shades, you could be looking at a 4,000 color temperature light or under a 5,000 color temperature light. That's going to affect it. So they all, it's different. And sometimes the monitors don't match up with the printers and and sometimes most lighting that you have in your home is only like 80 CRI. So if they do it with a, a 90 CRI at 4,000 color temperature and you have a 3,000 color temperature at 80 CRI, you're going to see a different color than what they intended on the box. It's a very strange science. I know because I've had to go through it. Uh, like as you all know, or you have known, most of you know, that I work for a lighting company. And I happen to know when I'm designing a certain light for a certain application like freezer lighting in a grocery store or something like that you have to hit a certain CRI they tell you we designed this packaging to hit this CRI lighting this color temperature you have to hit those otherwise you're not going to represent their packaging properly and they're not very happy about that because they spend a lot of time and money on that so same thing with anything else and that's why I always call them propaganda sheets they try and give you a sheet that has colors on it it's not the right color that's just not how it is okay pros for these so I had great paint flow on these not one second that I had did it hesitate or anything else even taking them out of the package again a week later and trying to use them a little bit didn't have an issue if it didn't work it was one pump and then it shook shake it up and then it works again fine no problem with paint flow they sent a little card and I first I got so angry. I'm looking at the one side of the card and it's all in Chinese. I'm like, why are they marketing this to United States? I'm an English speaker. They're sending it to me. And there's only you flip over the card, you moron. That's what you got to do. And it's all in English. Thank you so much for sending all of the instructions in English so that I can understand because sometimes I'm a little bit dense in those things and I can't figure things out so I have to look at the card and this one told me exactly what to do so thank you so much to them for doing that I've talked about the brush tip before very nice brush tip very smooth very um, it's flexible it, it, it works just like an alcohol marker if you were to test it out it just feels just like that like a brush tip alcohol marker that's it doesn't feel like a normal paint pen that has that stiff bristle on it it's, it's not like that so I and I appreciate that because that's how I like to I like to use the softer brush tips the paint dried pretty quickly it, it didn't dry all at the same time you'll see um, one of the colors you'll see actually in the uh, center of the page there that it's a little bit you see a lot more lines it's a little bit swirly where okay so some of the problem is me too some of those are that I didn't shake them enough and I just was impatient and pushed the thing without shaking it and then got the paint on the page and it wasn't mixed properly. So I don't want to fault them for that entirely. Uh, that was Some of that was my fault. But the paint dried 
fairly quickly and uh, it was it was easy to use it was easy to layer over the next layer so that's not a big deal another plus is that little side window I love that you can see how much more paint is left in the in the pen that's wonderful their last version you can't see that it, it doesn't show it so you could be in the middle of a project and just run out because you didn't know that that paint pen only had a little bit left out in it now I enjoyed those other paint pens and I really like the tips a lot and I think that they're wonderful um, but these are different they do show you exactly what's inside and they feel solid you don't feel like you're holding a cheap pen when you when you hold this you know it's not like a Crayola it's thick it's dense and it's a little bit uh, I, I want to say the word beefy but it's 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 substantial to hold it's not very thin you can grab a hold of it and it's it's easy to use and I like that even when I look at fountain pens I look for the thicker pens I don't like the real thin fountain pens it's not for me it feels weird in the hand it's kind of rolls around it falls out when you have the thicker pen you know you're holding on to it it's substantial you can get a better grip so that's all I'm gonna go over right now I hope that you enjoyed the video I don't know at first I started to put this piece down and it looked like maybe a seahorse and then it looked like a yelling seahorse and I thought oh my goodness this poor seahorse is being tortured or something I don't know but maybe it was just celebrating maybe it was having a party and it was celebrating something maybe it was celebrating that it got a new set of paint markers and it was excited and happy and it started yelling but anyway I hope you enjoy the piece I hope you enjoy the video hope you enjoy the markers if you get them so go down below remember the rules they're posted down below just follow them on the two things or whatever and let me know hey I followed them I want to be included for the giveaway and I will pick the winner on Friday and I will, you'll see a winner video on Saturday so you know who the winners are even if they're not winners is these people popping up on the screen here they help me figure this stuff out because I have no idea what I'm doing and they deserve all of the credit of all of the good things of the video and I will take all of the blame of all of the bad things in the video that's how we that's our relationship that's what we have here so thumb up the video if you're gonna enter the contest and you would like a set of paint pens uh, there they are good paint pens they're, there's nothing I, you know, I know that there's no, I don't have a lot of information on the pigments that they're using or anything like that. And I know that means a lot to a lot of people. But when I'm just picking up a set of paint pens to use them on something, usually I'm painting a rock or a piece of wood. It doesn't matter to me. It may matter to you. That's up to you. But either way, I think it's a good deal. All right. If you would like to join our community, go to illustrationsbypete.com. You can come in. You can put your own artwork on the site and promote it. You can find some inspiration in the free reference photos. You can just use them however you want in your artwork. You do not need to credit me. Or you can come into the forums and talk to some people and maybe give some advice and maybe find a little bit of information that helps you. So come check us out. All right, that's about it for me. I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next one.